today I'm gonna go over something called motion cart lab make sure the the sensor that is reading the motion of this fan cart is at least 10 centimeter apart from this fan cart we're gonna draw we're gonna construct four graphs first two graphs we're gonna do it with low motion low velocity and then the second one we're gonna do it high motion okay uh, so the when fan gonna move slowly then the fan cut would be moving slowly when the other one would be fan would be moving faster then fan cut would move away from the sensor faster moving away from the sensor is a positive velocity and positive acceleration this is what I expect to see so I'm going to show you graph the DT graph so the DT graph this is what I want to uh, we're going to start from zero velocity and this is a quadratic so this is what I want to see a quadratic a quadratic DT graph and uh, and uh, the VT graph has to be a, a diagonal VT graph has to be diagonal because there is some positive velocity plug this in to the to the spark view to read the motion of this fan card first we're going to choose the position so you choose the position so let's choose the position and then show and then once you hit the show then then you get uh, x and y axis x axis is the time and the y axis is the distance x axis has to be 8 second and y axis has to be 1.5 meter 8 second exactly 8 second we do not compromise with anything so 8 second and let's try to get 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 and 8 second over here okay so this is 8 second 0 comma 0 and 8 second and on the other side y axis i want to have the distance is only 1.5 so 1.5 has to be on the top so where is 1.5 so this is about 1.6 and that's my ready set go stop okay now stop the fan stop the fan all right now we're gonna analyze the data this graph is exactly same graph I draw over here as you see these two graphs are exactly same quadratic positive velocity positive acceleration excellent now what we're gonna do we're gonna this is positive velocity positive acceleration now we all uh, we already predict that how the other one will look like how the VT graph look like VT graph would be a diagonal line why is that is because the velocity has to be positive and acceleration has to be positive because the velocity and acceleration when they both are the same direction then object is speed up and we saw that the fan cart the, the cart was speeding up because the fan was moving okay good um, all right now we're gonna do the VT graph so let's go to the let's reset it to reset it you go to the home now you choose the velocity now you're going to have a velocity versus time graph okay so again i want the x axis which is the time to be eight second all right not something else eight second so this is uh, what second this is eight second okay so zero comma zero has to be on the origin it looks better that way so one point one point eight and eight okay good action okay good now i'm going to turn off the fan so what do we want to see we want to see a diagonal line so from here to here is a diagonal line and that's exactly what we draw over here is a diagonal it's a diagonal line the second one vt graph the vt graph is a diagonal line this was today's lab now you know how to use this fur view sensor fan card to do this awesome thing